There's been an uptick in anti-Muslim crimes this year compared to the year since 9-11. That's according to the Alabama chapter on the Council on American Islamic Relations. Jamise Price joins us now with how this group is turning the negativity into something positive with an event to empower Muslim women. Jamise? Yeah, John, they met to uh, challenge these stereotypes and to work to combat anti-Muslim crimes. This meeting comes just a few months before the election, and this is a hot political climate, so they wanted to get the message out there soon. After being silent for years, Muslim women are speaking up, sharing what it means to be a Muslim woman right now in this country. Yes, Muslim women are the ones who uh, who see the brunt of, uh, of this uh, Islamophobia and, and, and anti-Muslim uh, sentiment. Literally over the weekend, we saw three attacks with Muslim women. It was a part of a conversation sparked by CARE Alabama. Every single time we hear other people talking about us and we thought it was high time that we did the talking. And so they did. When I wore the scarf, I experienced a lot of, you know, indifference and a lot of, you know, I had stares. From stories of battling bigotry and stereotypes to hearing messages from entrepreneurs, activists and political leaders, all meant to empower, educate and engage. Many, like 18-year-old Rowan Akashawi, left feeling inspired and motivated to keep the conversation going. I, you know, I personally use this, like I said, um, as a means of walking exactly. Example, I want you to come ask me questions. I'm a very big advocate for this kind of cause. When you see people that are being oppressed on a daily basis and I have a very soft heart, I, I just can't just sit there and to try to change people's perception about, you know, this false preconceived perception about Muslims. Also a part of the event, a voter registration drive in all about 50 people registered to vote on site. In the newsroom, Jamise Price, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.